So after having a few internet issues, no internet um, at the campsite of course due to being in a tent um, and the internet in Rouen was terrible um, it's taken me up to Bruges, we're now in Bruges um, this is the value stay in Bruges and probably facility wise the best one we've had um, you can probably see most of the room in the off good corner of it um, so I've combined days 5 and 6 together um, 5 was the trip to Rouen uh, it was just one day there um, no significant historical aspect of why we were going um, that had all finished after the American Cemetery in Omaha um, however there was the uh, tower where Joan of Arc they claim was kept imprisoned according to Wikipedia she was never actually kept imprisoned there it was a tower that's now being demolished um, there's only one tower remaining uh, from the original fortress or, or whatever you'd call it this is the tower of Joan of Arc at least that's what I think it translates to commonly I think misconceived as where she was kept and then probably tortured um, relatively informative I don't really know much about that era of history um, so it was enlightening while in Rouen, we saw um, Donald Trump, uh, or some of the claims Donald Trump. Even Donald Trump comes to Rouen. <laughs> uh, it's got a cathedral, uh, Notre Dame, not the Paris Notre Dame, but I think it translates to Our Lady, so it pretty much covers any church. Tesla Taxi and Notre Dame. Pretty big. You know what? Anglorum, Regis is king, Riccardi, Richard, here, Hick is here, here, something, something is Richard, Anglorum, something to do with England, king, king of England, key who is who, something, Leonis, lion, I don't know, yeah, Dictus, well, and then that's 1,000, M is 1,000, so C is 100, 1199, I think. My Roman numerals aren't great. I'm oh, still, still. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, lovely little town, beam buildings, you know, sort of a lot of old architecture, a lot of very gothic architecture. Um, so it was nice to look around. I haven't got masses of footage, but it'll be interlaced, and you'll see bits, and you will see bits. Half idea, this. I think it's probably got a square. We saw some notoriously bad uh, French driving. This is oh my god. So I 
after that was the drive up to Chateau de Gansvet, which is where we were camping. Um, that's two and a bit hours, uh, two and a half, two hours, two and a half hours, I think. Um, luckily, it, it wasn't all motorway driving again. Uh, like the rest has predominantly been a lot of countryside driving, so we've got some, some you know, proper rolling landscapes, your smaller villages, your farms, and, and things like that. <laughs> you don't want to speed that bit up. <laughs> it's just going to go. <laughs> so we've made it to Chateau de Gansbet. These are playing football. And we are all set up. One pole. That's going down tonight. That's going down. The campsite itself was fantastic. Um, I've never, I've, I've been to places similar to it, but I've never camped somewhere like that before. Um, I, you know, I've probably been in static caravans in Wales. You know, facilities wise, they had everything: swimming pools, tennis court, football, five-side football pitch, kids play area, bar, um, which is where we watched England versus Wales. The campsite was full of British people. Um, probably about 90% Welsh. Um, so it was very interesting when the first bar went in for Wales, the bar erupted with us silently sort of uh, staring into the bottom of a pint. Um, however, we had the last laugh, so good on you boys. Uh, day six, England have just beaten Wales 2-1. Um, I'm having to record this on my phone, which is probably better quality. Um, we've made it to Chateau du Gansbet, which is a campsite. Um, here's the play park, and as you can tell, we've had probably far too many beers already. Um, that's football for you. Um, it's really, really nice here, to be fair. Um, there's a pool. We've already been in the pool. We're going to go in the pool again. Uh, pool drunk, probably a really bad idea, but you know, none of us will drown, surely. Um, um, but yeah, um, a nice, where is it, there it is, oh, you can't really see it for me, uh, there's table tennis outside, there's the kids players you've seen, and, oh, oh no, oh no, here we go, here we go, here we go, go on, go on, go for it, well, that was amazing, England, um, <laughs> just trying to get in <laughs> Go on out. Matt, I did two and then I went. Oh, actually, here's the pool. Here's the pool. Definitely. There is another one, but it seems to be closed. Special guest. <laughs> no, it's a video. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. Okay, but <laughs> it's. Will, how are you, crisps? Very barbecue. Oh, that's, that's always a oh. bonus if you've got barbecue ba crisps. Barbecue equals pollen. barbecue lays. Yeah. How's your hay fever going, Will? It's actually all right at the moment. Hey, you coming in the pool with us? Maybe. Hey, maybe. we've got a maybe. I don't like maybe. So I want we've yes. got a maybe. I want confirmation. Where's Al? Football tennis. <gasps> oh, uh, Al, football. you haven't. Oh, no. Football tennis. Football tennis. Football tennis. Football tennis. There's also te uh, tennis, tennis court. Football. There is a five a side <laughs> football thing here as well. Um, oh, here's another table tennis area. Um, table. Over in the corner. Yeah, I need to make one out of Yeah, highly recommended. Yes. So a couple of people have asked for shout outs. I'm going to give them to you. Um, Barry, 
a good old friend living in Spain. This is a hello from Belgium. Um, and Matt Phillips in Burton. I have Georgie living in friend. Um, Alright, how do you? See you soon. Swift Point in Needle after all this, to be honest. And goodbye. Um, I'll record the end of day 7, which was today's day. I'll do that tomorrow morning because it's currently what? Quarter past four in the morning, and we'll go through what happened then. Ben Jones, could you give us a few words about the frisbee that you then threw on the roof of the supermarket? Um, no, I'm afraid not. Daniel Boyce, could you please give us a few words about the frisbee that was thrown on the roof of the Super U Supermarché? In uh, Caen. It was a good frisbee. A, a loyal, a loyal frisbee. Can't do it with that crease in. Um, yeah. Will, could you give us. It even had a face. It was like a person. No, that was the bread. No, that it, did bread was it. Oh, it did have a face on it. It did have a face on it. It was a crash bandicoot. Crash bandicoot. <laughs> could you give us some words? It was um, oh, so unexpected. Uh, <laughs> A short and timely I, death. I turn around for one moment and Jones is looking to the skies and I know what's coming. He throws it so high. Unfortunately, it never came the back down. Got lost many times in its life. You can almost. You it, could, it always found the right path, and that path is the roof of a U supermarket. <laughs> you, can, you can almost compare it to you, Chris. He soared too high. And he never Jones. came back. He, he, never, he never came back. Jones. Can you give us some words guilty. now, Ben? Um, basically, watch out for frivolity, because if, uh, if you're too frivolous, then you'll lose the